Hey guys, this is Marshall Suchet, and I'm recording a battle that I had on the Ligny map uh, against a friend of mine called Pyrus. Uh, as you can see here, I've taken the Austrians. Got some nice divisions here. So there's one there, one there, one there. My cavalry's at the back, nice and safe from artillery fire, along with my general. See, he's right there, Joseph Alvinci. I uh, find with the Austrians you really need to have at least a three-star general, otherwise y units suffer from really bad morale. Uh, I've gone for the Czech regiment, German fusiliers, more German, wait, German grenadiers, fusiliers, Hungarian grenadiers, fusiliers, fusiliers. So I've, I've tried to be relatively historical with this lineup. Um, the Austrians only had a certain number of Hungarian troops, but I don't know, most players generally just simply stick with Hungarians. They're not that much more expensive than the Austrian line, and really they're just as good. Uh, so you can see me moving to attack. Or well, maybe not attack, just moving forward. Uh, Ligny's a really tricky map. Um, I'm really good at it, actually. Um, but most players aren't. You have to be really smart. So you can see he's moving down here. I'm just watching him for now. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just see what he does. See if I can't counter whatever his plans are. So he started off with a bit of an advantage here because he's got the Prussians. They have really good reload times. Uh, so yeah, all he needs to do is just simply sit still and shoot. We have taken a building, sir. I'll take a building. But Paris is really a general. Uh, he and I are both very aggressive. Uh, this was one of our very earlier battles. Um, he's actually a marshal now. Uh, marshal Lance. Uh, but yeah, this is one of our early battles. See, so yeah, he's keeping his guys safe. Uh, posted behind the hill. His cavalry can't be hit by my artillery. Our men are running uh, oh, hello. He's destroyed the building. So this is the trap with Ligny. A lot of people try and occupy the buildings, but it's really not a good idea. And at the moment, it looks like he could win. Uh, but let's see what happens. So he has... Uh, let's see, what does he have? Looks like eight line units, one, two, three units of Slesian Schutzen. Anything else? Two Lance units, Dragoon unit, and Husai unit. Again, as I said in one of the last replays I did, um, Slesian Schutzen and all the other Jaegers are not that good. Um, well, they are and they aren't. I mean, like I said, they can harass, but they really can't stop an attack. And that's what you gotta gotta worry about when you're up against me, because I usually like to go for the jugular. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'm pulling back. Too much shooting. There they are. And of course, like all the units in this game, uh, ooh, they vanished. Uh, but like all the units in this game, the bigger the hat, the more important they are. So, yeah, they've got very big hats for that reason. These guys are close. Uh, anyway, um, I've had enough of his artillery shooting at me, so what I'm going to do is going to try flanking. You can see me here. I'm going to send some infantry up to support him. So my Czech regiment, German fusiliers, more German fusiliers. Uh, pulling back again. Again, he has the edge here. Um, he hasn't really lost anything, whereas I've lost a unit of skirmishes, and all he honestly needs to do is shoot, and he should win. He's made a bit of a mistake here, though, because he's put his um, put his cavalry out within my artillery artillery range, and with me, I usually like targeting the enemy the enemy cavalry with my artillery whenever I can. Um, the only other target that gets more attention from me is the enemy general. So anyway, I've taken a look at this and decided it's really not for me. 
Um, <laughs> still shooting his men. He's taking a shot at mine. Uh, let's see. Got some guys across the river here. But no, my main focus here is to try and get around his flank. Get perhaps his general. Uh, who's sitting here? Count von Nasenau. Again, a six-star general, I think. I really don't know why they made Bluka a nine-star general on this. He wasn't really... I mean, he was a very brave warrior, but he really wasn't sort of uh, known for his generalship. Um, but anyway, um, this guy's got six stars. So I'm going to keep on trying to flank him here. There's a bridge that he hasn't defended. Sort of. I know he's following me. Uh, the one big advantage I have over him is the fact that my cavalry is much better than his. So, I have... let's see, what have I got? Ulans, Chevalier, Cuirassier, more Cuirassier. I don't really get the Chevalier. Um, as you can see here, they have some very fancy hats, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're any good. Uh, so, I don't know. Let's see what happens. So his lances are out there, they're going to try and counter any move by me to cross the bridge. What else is happening? Just holding, sending reinforcements. Got guys up on the hill. Oh, and he's charged. Now this is a bit of a mistake because charging this hill is usually not a good idea. It's very easy to defend. And I always have, uh, have a reserve of troops up here if I'm fighting on, on Ligny. So it's a bit of a mistake. Oh, my Grenzes aren't moving. They really should be. Anyway, this flanking move is in trouble. The guys are in the lee, where they usually are. Uh, what else is happening? The rest of my army is sitting still, just watching what's happening there. His cannons really have nothing to shoot at because my the horses are behind him. Are and this attack is failing. Again, he was winning up until this point. But still, I think this is the first time he was ever on the Ligny map, so... I don't know. I've had a bit of practice. And once you get practice with this map, um, it becomes much easier. But if it's your first time playing it, it's really tough, so... I don't know. He's doing his best. <laughs> he did well at the start. Oh, let's see. My cavalry still isn't moving. He's been very smart the here. He's, uh, he's counted me. But is he watching? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on on this battlefield. He's got to watch my troops there. He's got to watch my flanking force there, so I'm just trying to give him as many distractions as I can, so I can try and get his general, get his guns. See, these guys are the main threat to him, so if he doesn't watch them, uh, he could have problems. So as you can see, his attack here has more or less failed, <laughs> um, so I was lucky there. But no, I mean, that position looked quite vulnerable. He could have got my general, so... I don't know. I, I think it was a uh, risk worth taking, but he should have probably backed it up with more troops. But it's gutsy move from him. Not very many players uh, willing to attack in this game, so I respect anyone who does. So let's see. He's got a whole bunch of guys here. Uh... Houses are on fire. Uh, bridges undefended. So I'm going to move up. See if I can't put some pressure on him. And my cavalry is crossing the bridge. See, that's an important thing with this game. You've got to use large moves or larger moves to cover what you're really doing. So like here. So I'm sending off the cuirassier to engage his cavalry. Stop them from getting my lances. So they're going across the bridge now. My lances are after his general. 